And it's so significant that it's here in Florida because we are part of this story. And it's not as well known that we are part of the Gullah Geechee story, the corridor, the Gullah Geechee corridor that stretches from Jacksonville, North Carolina, to south of here, uh, St. Augustine, the Sea Islands and those coastal communities all along the southeast coast are connected to the West African countries from whence the original Africans who were enslaved and brought to America settled along the coast. And the folkways, the culture, the language, many of the things, the nuances that have become part of American culture have direct roots to that African culture. And this exhibit illuminates that. And I think it's always important, we as a community, as a state, as a, as a nation, should understand and learn our history and always make sure that, particularly the young generation, understand the value of culture and history. Uh, and I hope that it, Ms. Stewart, becomes a destination where people, when the display is gone, would really come through Jacksonville and come up through Georgia, St. Mary's, Georgia, and all of the islands. And uh, when you think about it, we are fortunate and blessed to have this opportunity. What it's going to do is, and what it's done throughout the places that it's been, is bring people to see themselves. And that's what museums do. That's what the Anacostia Museum, the Smithsonian does, and we're proud of that. And I know that that's what this exhibit and this museum will do and does for people. When you look on the walls and you see um, who, even if they're not relatives, somebody who looks like somebody from your family, you may want to go research them. You may want to say, oh, they look familiar. Um, so it legitimizes and it brings to life your, your family, especially for African Americans, and your history and your heritage. And that's what we hope this exhibit will do, and I'm sure that's what Dr. Turner was hoping it would do.